Hello guys, I'm Lifted, welcome to my zone, and we're back with some Game of Thrones again. Yeah, I kind of feel like finishing this game, and I kind of like it in some way. I knew them! What are those things? Oh, over oh here, over those here. are there. The ones we killed. They won't die. You know that. Now. They won't die! Anything <laughs> can be killed! No, don't be. Oh shit. <laughs> you kind of have no choice, guys. I hope you're right about this, Garrett. And yeah, I'm talking a bit quieter because it's a night time. Is it Tyrion or is it? Oh, Your Grace. fuck. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. Yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. Yeah, okay. Let's However, be. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. She Have wants I displeased to send you, me away. Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan oh. tells me you've invited yourself to Tolan's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? 
I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes yes. that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. Because she can help me. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. No, not really. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Mm. Your Grace. That's interesting. You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. Uh, I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming hmm. you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, really? I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. This is quite interesting. I'm surprised. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon. I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. If you want you to, you can. <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just well, try well. not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. <laughs> An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll mm -hmm. show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Go on. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You humiliated me for all to see. Denied me of an honorable death. So I must find it in Westeros. Oh, such an honorable guy. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here. And you've found your soldiers. Hmm. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. A good Living one. here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with uh, cell swords. <laughs> My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron 
from ice. Iron from ice. Yes, man. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Hmm. But he knows that. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me go. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. Hmm. <laughs> you brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. <laughs> Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. <laughs> hmm. Some things are worth dying for. I like Tyrion. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. I've heard that before. You and Podrick. <laughs> I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. Oh, yes. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? <laughs> you can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. <sighs> so, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. Exactly. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Aww. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> um, anyway, she's not what helping What should I tell yet. Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although, I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger. 
son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. <laughs> oh, and Timid, and Cella, and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Oh, now! Shit. I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Now I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked. In all ways possible. This is Game of Thrones. Ta-da! Oh. Wish you leave. Sorry. That's interesting. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. <laughs> we haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. My only regret is what happened to your brother. If I'd only... Please, let's not talk about Arthur. Not now. Then, then talk about regrets. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We enjoy what we have. For as long as we can. I plan to. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hmm. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... I'm just making this worse, aren't I? It's all right, Talia. Come in. <laughs> I really am sorry. It's cool. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see Don't you soon. lose the blanket. Oh. oh shit. We could walk out if you didn't have to. All right then. I'm listening. Last night I couldn't. I was having nightmares. So I. Go on, Talia. I went back there. Oh. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Duncan. Talia, I need to know who it was. Or... He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. Oh, you have shit. to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I don't I'm promise. lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done, that should be enough. Talia, please. Come on. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Hmm. Who will I see? I think I know, but do I? Ah, oh, the, the suspense. Mm. It's not. Nah, nah, nah. He wouldn't call the guards. Or would he?
Yes. Hey, it's oh. him. My lord, you scared the bloody daylights out. I was right all along. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Back when you still had a spine. You sold your loyalty like some whore in the street. My loyalty has always been to this house. But you've been too damn blind to see it. Now, what Aww. I didn't see is that you were a traitor. You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. Don't you dare start making excuses. Excuses? Are you that naive? Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. Exactly. You're weak. He knew Just like Ethan was. To be strong, army man. Sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Kissing Lud's ring when you knew we had to show strength. Bungling your betrothal to Elena. Doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Royland. You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Yeah. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. You've betrayed us all, Royland. My father included! I've held true to what I believed. Exactly. Which is more than I can say for you. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath, Walter. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Just sentence me and be done with it. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Perhaps we should hear him out. <gasps> I know his plans. You did it. It was the right thing. It was what Roiland not... said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. The Lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Pain drop. That's something new, bruh. Fight for the forest and fight for the good! Hey ho, no for no! For my brother riches and I am born! Fight for the forest! Hey ho, no for no! You smell that? We're almost there, let's get it. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what <laughs> happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. The lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house. And he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you. Not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All oh, men can. To love for hmm. 
That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. And maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or, could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Hmm. Straight away from the beginning. They oh, this fight. wouldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Hmm. I don't like that they don't like it. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Oh. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet. But it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. What? I killed any white hills. What? Out of my way! Come on, big boy. Asha, you have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Basker. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Stay by my brother's side. He's your family now. I will, little brother. Rip their fucking hearts out! Do 
Well, that sucks. It all sucks now. They don't have an army. Hmm. Did we fuck up? We will see. And we're finished. That was a quick episode. And this is the last one. So let's finish it. I don't know. Maybe we will begin it and finish it off tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think we can finish it today. Previously, well, at least we'll start. On Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing wins. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're weak, just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. <gasps> <gasps> from ice. The sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. The North Grove, beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon. Mm. Hear the werewolves whisper. I haven't seen any werewolves this far north. Do you see the eye of the dragon? That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. You just have to trust me. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? Which is nowhere anyone in their right mind would be. <laughs> We're close. I know it. I believe you, Garrett. I hope you're oh, right. You look bad, man. I don't know how much further he can go. We need to keep moving. That's what I told you. Oh! 
wound is getting worse. Oh, it burns. It burns like all seven L's combined. Oh, oh shit, that oh. looks nasty as well. Listen, Garrett. <laughs> I know I'm not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always been there for me. If anything happens, I want you to leave me. You take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. I don't want to hold you back. If Sylvie gets hurt because of it, or you... I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. I know she's stubborn and proud. But she's a good person. Stop talking like that. You're not gonna die. If I do, though, she's still my little sister. And if I'm not around to protect her, I need to know there's someone who can. What are you doing? I found Nightshade. It's poisonous, but in small doses it can help with pain. It's rare this far north. We're lucky to have found it. We can use the nightshade to make Cotton more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm, too. In the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. <clears throat> can you help? Yes, I will. But then I have to end the stream, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. this whatever made this must be enormous no marks Fresh kill. <sighs> it's the tree where which whisper. Is it another dragon?
has to be the North Grove. It is. Oh, finally. Look at this place. I can hardly believe it's real. Fuck. Wherever they are, they can help us. Run. Hurry! Okay, guys. I will cut the stream here. And I will not tease you. But I really have to go now. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.